Apple did something downright shocking coming from a company that typically locks everything down more tightly than Fort Knox. They basically said, hey hacker, bring it on. No, it's not a prank. Apple, the very same company that won't get out of your way when you attempt to install a new browser without having to battle its default settings, just issued a challenge to hackers to crack its new system. And if you succeed, you can win up to $1 million. Yes, a literal million. Enough to buy a house or a cramped apartment in San Francisco. But what's really happening here? It begins with something Apple calls Private Cloud Compute or PCC. It's part of their big leap into AI, what they are labeling Apple Intelligence. When you ask Siri a question in the future or use other artificial intelligence features on your device, those requests could be sent to Apple's servers in the cloud. However, Apple wants to keep those requests private, even from itself. That's where this gets wild. Apple is not merely making a smarter AI. They are attempting to create a system that even they themselves can't snoop into. It's a little bit like this. Picture putting your diary in a vault so secure that even the person who created the vault has no idea what you've written inside it. That's what private cloud compute attempts to be. But Apple understands that this trust has to be built. It can't just be issued. So they are opening the PCC architecture to the public and saying, try to break it. Find the flaws, expose the weaknesses. If you are skilled enough to choose to exploit the system remotely and to run unauthorized code with high level access, you can get paid as much as $1 million. But even smaller victories like exposing accidental breaches of user data or bad configurations can net you tens of thousands of dollars. It's also one of the most aggressive bug bounty programs the tech world has ever seen. Now, if you're like, okay, this is cool, but what is this system that I'm supposed to hack? Great question. Let's break it down. ARM is the base architecture upon which PCC is built. If you have never heard of ARM, here is a quick explanation. It's part of the future of computer chips. Your iPhone uses it, most smartphones do, and laptops and cloud servers are increasingly signing on too. ARM has this very ingenious thing called Realm Management Extension, or RME. It's a series of locked rooms inside your computer's brain. To better explain this, let me give you a metaphor. Hey, sorry for interrupting your video, but I wanted to know, are you interested in building a career in ethical hacking? We created Learn Ethical Hacking from Scratch course just for you, and it's the perfect way to get started. In this course, you will learn how ethical hackers find vulnerabilities in your system, networks, and applications. You will learn hands-on skills like penetration testing, exploiting the weakness in a system, and all the tools that hackers use. You will also learn how to stay on the right side of the law. Cybersecurity is one of the fastest growing industries in the world and hackers are high in demand. The global cybersecurity market is expected to reach $400 billion by 2028. There has never been a better time for you to jump in. Ethical hackers and from 90,000 US dollars to 120,000 US dollars annually. Experts in this field make even more. So are you ready to kickstart your journey into ethical hacking? This course is your key to mastering hacking. We have placed the link to this course in the description. Enroll today and get started on a lucrative career path. Now back to the video. Imagine a high security building. You've got the public lobby where anyone can walk in. That's your normal user mode. Then you've got the restricted floors where only staff are allowed. That's the kernel. Then there is the ultra secret research lab sealed behind retina scanners and steel doors. That's the secure zone. And then there is a secret room in that lab, a location that is so secure that even the security guards are unaware of. And that's the realm. Realms are special in that they are hardware enforced, not simply software enforced. In other words, it's not about how to write better code. Code. It's about building walls so solid no data can scale them. Even the hypervisor, the god of all virtual machines, can't peek inside a realm. It's like your landlord shows up and suddenly can't get into your apartment, even though you did not change the locks. Like the building just decided, nah, you're not getting in. This is not mere paranoia, it's smart design. With multiple layers of access in a system and some new points of access, the likelihood of someone finding a way through it increases. But if you secure the hardware itself, you're eliminating an entire class of attacks. But here is the challenge, the most secure systems still have to communicate with the outside world. And that's where things can go wrong. Realms have to exchange a certain amount of data with regular apps, and for that, they need bridges and interfaces. However, history teaches us that bridges are where the bad stuff often sneaks in. Think of the Trojan horse. It wasn't the walls of Troy that failed. 
it was the decision to open the gates. Apple knows this. That's why they're inviting hackers to compromise those bridges, to explore all paths from the non-secure world to the secure one. They have also released a guide describing what kinds of vulnerabilities trouble them most. Essentially, Apple is reversing the narrative. Rather than keeping their technology secret and waiting to see what happens, they are putting it on display and challenging you to break it. They are not just flexing here. This appears to be a savvy strategy because making a system invisible is not the best way to protect it. The best method is to make it battle tested. Years after being called a walled garden, Apple is now passing out blueprints and inviting you to poke around. They're saying, we have nothing to hide. In fact, we are even paying you to take a look. But the reality is this is not easy. Well, not something like PCC. Hacking it is not as easy as launching terminal and typing pseudo god mode. You would require deep knowledge of ARM architecture, operating system internals, and probably need to be fueled by a generous, perhaps excessive amount of caffeine. Still, the payout is real. For the elite few who know this stuff, it's a once-in-a-lifetime challenge. And who knows? If you do discover a bug, you don't just walk away with money. You get serious respect in the hacking world. In a world of AIs everywhere and a greater concern for data privacy than ever before, Apple is taking a bet. A wager that security is not about locking things away. It's about allowing people to test the locks. So if you think you're able to hack Apple, go get that bag. And hey, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button.